Welcome to Whitewater Takedown Federation, where we do seriously scary shit. Everybody knows that aluminum and decking material can get hot when exposed to direct sunlight. So let's do an experiment with actual temperature measurements to find out how hot it actually gets and see what we can do to reduce the heat up. Okay, here are our various test pieces of aluminum that we're going to use in our sunlight heat up test. And we can start over here. This is a glossy black. You can see it's very reflective. And this, although it appears gray at this angle, it's actually flat black and you can see that it gets pretty black when you turn it so there's, there's no reflection on it. So that's a flat black. And this is a flat white paint. You can see it's not really reflecting anything as I tip it around like that. This is a, a semi-gloss. I didn't have gloss white, but you know, this will have to do. So you can see it's reflecting the, uh, the light out of the window there. This is a semi-gloss gray. I didn't have a glossy gray or a flat gray, so this will have to do. And here we have various floorings glued onto pieces of aluminum. So this is a uh, black I'm not sure what it's called, uh, you know, it's just kind of a, a spongy foam flooring. This is, uh, I, I pulled off my existing boat, so it was not glued to the aluminum with the 3M glue. I used Gorilla Glue instead, so it, it's glued down and the, the glue is uh, very even. And th this is uh, something I think, I think I got this off of Viber. It was like, I don't know, a third or a half price compared to the stuff on Amazon. Again, it's similar uh, material as this, but it's gray. And then this is uh, the same material, but it doesn't cover the aluminum entirely. And my thinking here is the, the sun will heat up the edges of the, the aluminum, and then uh, the, the heat will be conducted underneath this stuff that um, insulates the aluminum. And then this will actually be hotter than this, due to heating from the edge of the aluminum. Then we'll also have this piece that we'll just uh, lay out in the sun with no paint or anything, so this is just plain aluminum. And lastly we'll have this piece which we'll put in the shade. So then we'll know how much the sunlight is actually heating up all these things relative to this thing that's in the shade. And to do the measurements, temperature measurements, we'll use this little thing. I don't really know how these things work, I've never investigated them but they uh, make this little red dot and you might be able to see there you can see the red dot and it says 71 degrees so here you can see our test samples that have been sitting out in bright sunlight on approximately an 80 degree day for two or two and a half hours so they should be pretty well heated up and there is a moderate wind so uh, they, they won't be as hot as they might otherwise be but the important thing here is uh, relative temperatures, not so much what they can absolutely get to on a very calm day. And here you can see I'm testing out this heat gun on these hot reflective surfaces. And you can see the temperature measurement is completely wrong. It should be you know, 100 or 150 degrees higher on this uh, sheet of aluminum. So the conclusion is the heat gun is not working on these hot reflective surfaces. So we'll have to come up with an alternate method to measure temperatures. So the temperature measurement method I decided to use here was just to compare two surfaces by putting one open palm on one surface and the other open palm on another surface and see which one was hotter and then sort them according to, well, which one is hotter and which one is colder. So these four in this area were all about the same. Um, this one with the partially covered aluminum was just a little bit warmer, but you know, not too much. The aluminum itself was uh, significantly hotter, but uh, that, that's really not important for uh, the flooring which you'd be walking on. And this is the flat white paint. So it, it ends up about as warm as the, these others where there's the foam flo flooring. And there's really no difference between the gray and the black. And then this one is noticeably warmer. This one was the uh, semi-gloss or gloss, I forget which, uh, white. So it's a little bit warmer, but uh, not very much. 
And then this was a, a gray semi-gloss, and this is just your plain aluminum. And their color is very similar, and the temperature is similar also. This is something that you can put your hand on there, you know, probably indefinitely. Uh, but probably, you know, you'd feel bad about making your dog walk on that all day long. Uh, you know, so it was acceptable. But remember that there was a significant breeze. So we know that if the ambient temperature was 20 degrees hotter and if the uh, there was no breeze, then these would be uh, too hot to touch. Uh, so then we move on to the flat black and it's significantly hotter than this. And it's getting to the point where, no, you just want, don't want to leave your hand there. But I could leave my hand long enough to assess the temperature. You know, when it gets super hot, your hand just automatically jerks away. So you can't say, well, uh, how hot is that? All you know is it's just super hot. And then this, uh, this is the gloss black. And that was getting to the point of being super hot, but I could still leave my hand there long enough to assess how hot it was, you know, with, without scalding my hand. So I, I don't know, maybe it was 150 degrees or something like that. Anyway, the implication is that all of these materials are a lot better than just bare aluminum. And this material is, uh, the gloss white is somewhat better. My original thinking was that this gray foam flooring would be the coolest and significantly cooler than the black foam flooring, but that's just not true. They're about the same. And another thought I had was that, that this flat black would actually be cooler than the uh, plain aluminum, uh, but that also was not true. It looks like the black just picks up uh, a whole lot of heat from the sun, and then its uh, emissivity isn't high enough to keep it cool. So this concept of emissivity is very important uh, regarding aluminum heating up in the sun. So aluminum is relatively reflective, so it, it reflects most of the sunlight that hits it, so you'd think that it would stay cool. But in fact, it, it heats up a lot, and that's because its emissivity is very low. So what little energy it does absorb from the sun, it keeps. It, it doesn't radiate it out in a way, and that's why it gets really hot. And this concept of emissivity is also relevant to these two different white surfaces. This one is flat, and, and this one is glossy. And the glossy one reflects more of, of the sunlight, so you'd expect that it would be cooler. But it turns out glossy surfaces have lower emissivity, so it does reflect more light, but it also retains more energy. So that's why this one is hotter than that one. My appeal, my appeal.